In this video, I'm gonna talk about minors that pair really well with economics majors. In fact, I've put together eight minors in three different categories that I think go really well with economics. And then at the end, I'm also gonna give you some of my insight on where I, why I think economics is particularly good and where it fits with minors just I mean, just way around to the end, you'll understand what I'm saying there. But this question has come up a lot in the comments of my videos. What should I minor in? Can I double major in this? Does economics pair well with studying this other thing? And these are fantastic questions. So I wanted to answer those questions in this video. And if you have other questions related to economics majors or related to economics generally, let me know in the comments below. I have been trying to answer the ones I've gotten. I've, I've gotten questions about jobs and about salaries. I've tried answering those questions, I will put the links to those videos in the description. I'm trying to respond to the questions you have because this is a community of people interested in and excited about economics. And so I want to make sure that we have that community feeling where you actually ask stuff and I can answer it for you. So let's go ahead and get into these minors. I'm going to start off with the first category, which is going to be technical skills, minors that will help you develop technical skills. Let me first start off with math. Math is a pretty obvious one, um, and I say that not in a demeaning way, but that is a common economics minor. And the reason why is because there is a lot of math in economics, or there can be depending on how deep you want to go into it. But studying math develops technical skills. And it's a really good signal, even if you don't want to go into graduate school, it really helps with careers because let's say you take a development economics course at college A and development development economics course at college B, it's really hard to understand what each of those development courses were. But if you take multivariable calculus at college A and multivariable calculus at college B, people know that they're basically the same thing. And so if you perform well in a multivariable calculus class, that tells employers a lot about your competencies. If you do well in a development economics course, it's a little harder to communicate what that means. So that's why even if you're not studying for graduate school, a math minor can do a lot towards communicating your competencies towards future employers. A second minor kind of related to this would be statistics. Statistics has a lot related to math, but actually like a lot of the reasons why economics majors are so popular today is their ability to develop data and to analyze data and to understand what's going on there. Now you learn just a limited tool set when you take your economics classes. If you go over into statistics, you'll dive more into a lot of different models and having that economics view on those models will enrich in those classes. Speaking of which, developing more technical skills, I'm going to go into the third minor, that is computer science or something where you're doing coding, programming, something in that vein. This is hot demand right now, obviously with the tech world, and I think the tech world is just going to get even bigger now with everything that's going on in the world, it's clear that tech is just a burgeoning sector and doing a lot of good for the world. And the economists who understand tech, not just tech, but actually, you know, machine learning, neural networks, you know, all these types of artificial intelligence. I've talked about that a lot on this channel because that is a frontier in economics. It's really important to understand that. And that's where a lot of the jobs are. So if you get that CS background, then lots of doors open up for you. So those three minors, math, statistics, and computer science, they all come into these developing your technical skills in economics. And I think they're hugely complementary. definitely minors that you should be exploring. What is another set that we might want to look at? We might look at other complementary skills. And these complementary skills are things that might not be super technical, but they might help signal something about you or help you get your foot in the door in a career you're interested in. So my first set of minors under complementary skills would be just a business minor and not just like just a business minor, right? Something like marketing, accounting, strategy, management, I don't know, whatever it is in that minor that you're interested in, whatever future you want, you can go ahead and do that minor. Now it's going to pair really well. It's going to signal the kind of interest you have in those jobs. I think that any type of business minor could go really well with an economics major. 
Another complementary skill that's a little farther than a business minor would be a foreign language. It feels like foreign language skills might not be at the top of everybody's list nowadays. It used to be. I think that's kind of being pushed out by coding, but foreign language opens up a lot of doors still. If you're interested in international business or living somewhere else, obviously you want to understand that language. And I just think that understanding different languages gives you further motivation to go out and travel the world, which will enrich in your economics education. I mean, I've learned so many things from going to Haiti, uh, from going to Turkey, from going to other countries and seeing how those worlds work and having the ability to talk to people, not in Turkey, but in Haiti, I get to talk to people and understand what's going on in their markets, what's going on in their lives, interviewing them, and being able to take that language and combine it with my economics background to try and understand what's going on in their life and how that helps me understand economics more. Which kind of leads into this third group. This third group is going to be something that might complement understanding economics or understanding social behavior. This is kind of more like the academic route, not as in you want to become an academic, but you're just interested in understanding the world and you want to bring in economics with something else to help you understand the world more. Foreign language kind of did that when I said it gives you that inspiration to travel the world. Let's look about these other types of minors that might help with that. First, I'll say psychology. I think economics is truly just the study of how people choose and psychology is a lot about how people function, how people think, how people choose. And there's a clear complementary complementarity between psychology and economics. And one of the things here is that you could take your psychology classes, you take your economics class, and then you could take a behavioral economics class, which is going to be the union of psychology and economics. So there's a really nice complementarity there. You get different ideas, different views about how these things are seen. A second minor in this group would be uh, political science. Political science has a lot of complementarities. You're trying to understand global re relations. You're trying to understand national relations, you know, local relations. You're trying to understand all these actions across different governments, across people, how they interact. And economics comes in and has a lot of power there. And in fact, a lot of political science has started migrating closer to economics and how they look at these issues. So if you were to take political science classes and economics classes, and then maybe you take like a political economy class and you try to understand institutions or you try to understand uh, development, a lot of that is going to be complementarity. I can't, I don't know why I can't say this word, complementary to the political science economics tracks that you're in. A third one in this group would be history. History, you take your whole life. It's something that ever since you're in kindergarten, you sit down, you start learning some history, and then you just basically take it all the way up through until college. But you don't ever really get into the economics of it. And so if you were to take a history minor and then have your economics major, you could go in and really find out like, oh, this thing that I'm interested in, the Great Depression, Panic 1907, or even just immigration, um, railroads, trying to understand the economics behind those historical things could be super interesting. And in fact, you know, I'm a little biased here. I teach an economic history class. I think that complementarity between history and economics is amazing. It was when I first took an economic history class at my uh, PhD program that I realized, oh my goodness, this economic stuff is not just made up junk that we're using today. It's been in force through history. Economic history really opened up my eyes to a lot of things. So those are the three groups of minors, technical skills, co uh, other complementary skills, or complementary studies. And there's lots available there, but let me just go ahead and tell you the true secret, the great part about economics majors, and that is that they're super small. Like most majors that I've seen, they are, they require just a few classes. You know, you take your intro class, you take an intermediate micro macro, you take econometrics, then a few electives, and you're good. Most economics majors that I've seen are pretty small majors, which then opens up that ability to take other classes. And you might take a minor, but you don't have to. And I just really want to make sure that I emphasize this point is that you don't have to take a minor. Now, you know, you might be in a program that requires you to minor. So then obviously you need to minor. 
but I think you should just start taking classes that you're interested in and that's why economics is so great is because it opens up that opportunity to take those classes and that's one of the things I did like I said I did minor in math but I took the classes I needed to minor in math and then I took a few extra like if I had double majored in math, I would have had to take other classes that I wasn't interested in and weren't related to the work that I was gonna do. So because I was an economics major and a math minor, I could take only the classes that I was interested in taking. I also took a lot of foreign language. I took two semesters of Japanese and I also got up to intermediate French and intermediate Portuguese because that was just something I was interested in doing. And economics allowed me to go and take more of those classes. History is a great example. I mentioned history minor, but if you do history classes in a curriculum, you're usually gonna have to take like a certain amount of American history, a certain amount of European history, and then maybe like some other international history, but then like, you might be taking classes that you're not interested in. But let's say that you're just really interested in African history. You want to understand what's going on in Africa. You want to go back and take all that. You don't really care about American history. Just go and take the African history classes. No one will be upset. You can just develop that understanding and you can really get what you want out of the classes you're taking. Just go take the classes that you're interested in. Don't worry about a major or minor. You've got your economics major. It's going to wrap up pretty quickly. Go out and explore, take those classes that you're interested in, develop skills, develop interests that you wouldn't be able to if you had just pigeonholed yourself into a major or minor. So that's my big secret that I promised you at the beginning is that with an economics major, you could just go and take tons of classes that you're interested in. I'm interested in knowing what your other questions are about majoring in economics. Like I said, let me know in the comments below. And if you want more answers, go ahead and check out these videos on jobs, salaries, other things that are coming out and I hope you subscribe. We will see you on the next episode of Market Power.